Hey everyone, this is Nate with My Liberty Homestead. Today we're going to talk about a, a couple new series we're going to start here on the channel. Um, we are going to try and do some mead making and some cider making. Um, as you guys know, I am a beekeeper, so I'm going to be uh, trying to use some of the honey that I have and hopefully have a whole lot more next year. Uh, but we're going to be starting two, uh, two different series on brewing, home brewing, some simple stuff that I think anybody can do. Um, you can make it as challenging or as simple as you like. Um, and they are going to be the simple cider series. So that's going to be just apple juice in many cases, or you can even use concentrate uh, that you buy in the frozen packs and uh, put them in a carboy and get them fermented. And you can add anything you want, whether it be sugar or spices or other fruits. Um, so I talked about that in a previous video. And uh, another one which we haven't talked about yet, this is the video for, the starting video for, is going to be uh, a series called Session Brews. So uh, for those who aren't familiar with meads, uh, a session mead is a normal, what they will call a weak mead, or uh, something in the lower alcohol range, say anywhere between 4 and 7% alcohol. So in your typical beer range is, uh, is a typical session mead. Um, so these normally use between 1 and 2 pounds of honey at, at most and uh, are fermented shorter and normally finish uh, quicker so you're able to drink them a lot faster than a full-blown um, a, a mead that takes three to four pounds per gallon of water um, that's the normal ratio so uh, one pound gets it fermented quick and uh, gets it so you can drink it a lot quicker than, than normal so we're going to be going through and i think it's a great place for any home brewer to start anybody who's wanting to get into to small batch meads because uh, the cost is a lot less so one pound of honey versus three to four pounds of honey Per gallon is a lot of money difference over a whole bunch of batches. Um, so we're going to dive right in. I'll show you a couple that I made, and uh, I'll take you take a look at them. All right, guys. Here's the two session meats I've been working with for the last uh, three to four weeks. Um, they both used one pound of honey for a gallon. Um, both of them were using the 71B yeast from Lalvin. Uh, I think it's a pretty good uh, mead yeast to go with. There's a lot of other ones which we'll go through uh, later down uh, in some other videos. Um, this one here is uh, one pound of honey with uh, six ounces of cranberries. So I uh, put some cranberries in the primary fermentation and uh, let it go and strain all, obviously uh, uh, racked all those off. Um, it felt like it needed something just the other day so I went ahead and zested an orange and put the uh, zest in. So you can see that's floating there at the top. Um, so I'm hopefully uh, that gives it a little bit of characteristic besides just the cranberries to uh, make it just a little more complex. Um, now this one right here, this is a pineapple pepper mead. So uh, this was one pound of uh, one pound of honey and two cans of crushed pineapple. Uh, anybody who's going to go ahead and do this, I would say to use cubed or uh, sliced pineapple. It's a lot easier to get to rack off. As you can see, I have some sediment here in the bottom, uh, which I will rack off. And obviously the, the peppers, the peppers are the, uh, the main attract, the attraction here on this mead. Um, tried it just the other day and it wasn't hot enough so I went ahead and added just a few more peppers and uh, hopefully here in two or three weeks it'll be hot enough that it'll be perfect and I'll, I'll get it here bottled. Um, I am totally filled up on glass so right now I'm, I'm sticking with plastic. Um, normally in the secondary I would obviously rather have a glass carboy or a glass uh, some type of glass besides plastic but I'm filled up right now so we're gonna keep working on that but thought you guys would want to see the two that I've been working on we're gonna dig into a few more here real soon and I uh, hope you enjoy if you like this uh, video please like and subscribe to my channel and I'd really appreciate it come check out the blog as well mylibertyhomestead.com and see all the other stuff that we're working on thanks a lot guys